Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Today is the day 6 and the problem is find all duplicates in an array. So given an array of integers where all the elements in array belongs from 1 to n where n is the size of the array. Some of the elements appear twice and the others appears once. Find all the elements that appear twice in this array. Could you do it without extra space and in o n run time? So, in this problem, so this is the example, if you see 2 and 3 is duplicate and other elements are 1s and 5 and 6 are also not present and the size of this array is 8 and the, all the elements are between 1 to 8. So answer we have to return 2 and 3. So how we will solve? So one of the brute force simplest solution is just loop over in the two loops one is start from i to n minus 1 another then j from i plus 1 to n and just check whenever nums of i equals to nums of j break that and add that to the result list so if you see this o solution is o of n square and o of 1 space this might be go get clearly so how we will optimize these solutions so let's understand over here the second solution is like sort the array first so if we sort these numbers in the example this will become 1 2 2 3 3 4 7 8 then we will just compare two element if it is equal not equals we will continue like this and if it is equal we will get the equal means the duplicate element we will add into the list of result list that element 2 and then increment come here then again we compare these two equal then add 3 and then continue till this end of the race so if we so this is the code for that try it yourself first this is a like better to know the brute force solutions as well before going to the optimal solutions so if you see the time complexity of this solution is the sorting time complexity which is n log n and the space is constant the sorting will take and this overall but still it is not a o of n solution so how we will optimize this solution so let's play between the time and space complexity if we want to improve the space complexity uh, sorry the time complexity we can use some store space to store the element so the good data structure for that we can use the set so another solution if we use the set like we will check in our set if it is element is exists then that means that element is found be found in array is duplicate we will iterate through all the elements in our array and if it is not in the set we will add into the set if it is in the set we will uh, add into our duplicate result list as well so first four will go into the set then three will go into the set then two will go into the set then seven then eight then now the next two is came in the picture in that case we will get the set already contains so this is our duplicate element we will add in our result set similarly 3 is also duplicated and so on and then we will add the one so this is a, another approach but so this is the code over here we just iterating created one set and one result list list here and doing the same approach but the time complexity and space complexity of this solution is o of n and n both so still this is not the constant space we have to come up with the solution which takes only constant without extra speed and o of n runtime so if you read this line carefully here it is uh, given a hint how to solve this problem in the o of n time and the constant space so this means all the elements belongs in the array from 1 to n if we try to map with the indexes so we can subtract 1 1 so this we can map from 0 to so all the a of i is between 1 to n so for in terms of indexes we can say that 0 to n minus 1 so that we will match the indexes of our array so what does mean uh, this means what we will do we will iterate over the array so we have this uh, example here 4 3 2 so 4 3 2 7 8 2 3 1 so this is our input so we just do one thing when we visit the 4 first we will check 
does we already visited this element how we will check we will look on the index which is 4 minus 1 in the array so where it is actually place if we place so this index so which is not if not already visited we will mark this element as a this whatever the element at this location as a negative so here uh, first we will go the 4 index 3 we will mark like minus 7 at here so let it use the comma separated stuff and then we will go to the 3 so we will check 3 and that 3 minus 1 will be index 2 so this guy so we will mark here minus 2 now we will go to this index then we will take the absolute of this every time so as we are marking the negative we need to take the uh, uh, mod of that as well so this will be 2 minus 1 which will become so we will mark minus 3 here then we once we go here this is 7 minus 1 6 so this will be uh, index 6 so one is this is our index let's say 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 these are the indexes of array and this is the actual elements of our array so once we go came here 7 then 7 minus 1 is 6 so we will go to the index 6 in our array here which is 3 so we will mark it as minus 3 now we went to the 8 then we will mark minus 1 here at the 7th index then we reach to the 2 and if you come here 2 then we will take 2 minus 1 which is index 1 if we come to the 1 index so here it is already visited so we will add this in our result set whenever we all seen that the index the index value already negative which means this is a duplicated so we will mark as 3 similarly the last one which is 0th index we will uh, this one before the last we have the 3 index which will be 3 minus 1 which is 2 so this guy again we came and it is negative so means 2 is also duplicated and 4 will be marked here so this is a simple idea using the indexes or and the same input array so let's implement the code for this approach pause the video try it implement yourself first so for result set we will use a integer array which is let it call a list and initialize with the array list now we need to iterate the elements from i equals to 0 i less than num dot length and i plus plus now let's create a id index from we will get the nums of i now we will check the nums of i d minus 1 so here we need to get this as a math dot absolute take the positive of that we don't get if this value already digited means it is negative then we need to add into our list dot add uh, the id the value in the id uh, the current number which is duplicated number otherwise else we will just make the nums of id minus 1 to minus of nums of id minus 1 so that's it in the end we just return the list so that's the implementation let's compile our code and it is compiling and we are getting the correct answer let's submit the code and it is accepted and the time complexity of the solution is just o of n and the space complexity we are not using any extra space so it's just a constant space so that's the solution try it yourself and if you like my solution hit the like button subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get the notification thanks for watching